What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury has a general message to tell the public about his training. He says, Instagram is not a reality. I'm grueling. <clears throat> I'm in a grueling training camp for the Wilder rematch. The lineal champ says he may seem like he's having fun on social media, but he's working hard for the February 22nd fight. Okay. He has this to say. <clears throat> he says, well, this is the article, right? The article says, take a quick scan of Tyson Fury's Instagram and you'll see recent posts where it looks like he's having a grand time in Las Vegas ahead of his February 22nd rematch with Deontay Wilder for the WBC, for Wilder's WBC heavyweight title. <clears throat> but Fury, of course, wants to clear it up that he's working extremely hard to get ready for the fight and the social media is not real. So don't believe the hype. Um, actually, he has something to say himself, and I will play the Instagram post. Let me turn off the... There we go. training camp and really it's boring repetitive every day but instagram would make you believe that i'm having the whale of a time enjoying myself living the dream everything's fantastic but in reality i'm getting worked to the bone every single day i'm getting smashed session after session i'm in the recovery pool because my joints are smashed and i need the recovery so whatever you see on instagram whatever other people's lives that you're trying to influence and take things from. Remember this, the grass is not always greener on the other side. And anything good in life comes from hard work. Okay, he says it comes from hard work. <clears throat> and really, Mike, um, Mike, Tyson Fury wants you to understand that everything is not what it sees or seems. He says that just because he's in the hot tub, he's recovering because his joints are smashed. You know, it does look like he's relaxing, looking like Tony Montana, you know, in a hot tub, just chilling. You know, um, what I'll say to this is, um, for one, I don't see the meaning of Tyson Fury trying to convince people that he is training hard. You know what I mean? Like, what's the significance of that? Oh, I'm training hard. I'm just wanting you to know it's not great on the other side. You have to put in hard work and dedication like the Mayweather say. <laughs> and of course, everyone that says that, that says otherwise, they're like Roger Mayweather. They don't know shit about boxing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, but I don't, I don't see why he has to make that a point. I mean, I guess he's trying to teach people that, hey, hard work, dedication you know, the overall moral of the uh, interview, right? It takes hard work and dedication to get where you need to be. I get that. But I think it's would be actually to the advantage of, of Fury to make people believe that he is partying, that he's drinking. You know, maybe he did get rid of Ben Davison because Ben Davison was too much of a friend. Ben Davison was that guy that let him do what he wanted to do and didn't really have enough power or say so, you know, or authority really to tell him, man, don't do that. You know, so maybe what he's doing now, he's probably actually doing something that he's supposed to be doing. I mean, why other why other reasons who he would want you to believe that he's not? You know what I mean? He wants us to believe. See, here's the thing. If you've been at work and you've really just been bullshitting at work for the last five years, then all of a sudden, whatever happens to you, you you um, you find God or you have a near death experience or something. You almost get fired. Then for whatever reason, you start really you you start really doing the things that you should have been doing. 
then I think it, it would be imperative or necessary for you to say, hey, no, I'm actually doing this. I'm actually putting my best foot forward. You know, this is not a game. Don't believe everything you hear, you know, because that does remind me of another fighter that was trying to convince people that he was just in the gym grueling and, you know, and, and putting in work and losing weight and getting in shape. And you know who that fighter was? A fighter that just lost last month. And his name is Andy Ruiz. OK, that's what it reminds me of. So when I read this, I was like, damn, that kind of sounds like Andy, you know, so it's either he's doing the right things now or he's not doing it all, trying to convince people that he is doing it, you know, and it's just a mind thing to to get everyone, get everyone to think that, hey, he's in this good of shape or whatever. It could be the case, you know. Because if you're doing what you're supposed to do anyway, why would you have to convince someone that you're already doing it? In fact, the strategy could be that, yeah, I am having a good time. I am drinking beers and, you know, chilling with chicks and eating bad and doing everything on Instagram. Right. Because a lot of that partial a uh, partial of that has to be true what he was doing. You know, he either he's going to those events or he's doing whatever he was doing on Instagram that had people thinking that he's not training. You know, I guess he was doing it for his fans, as you know, because maybe his fans were worried that he might have backslid or backslid or, you know what I mean, relapsed or whatever mentally that has caused him to not train. So maybe he's just trying to do that. But here's the other scenario. Maybe Tyson Fury is doing that for his mental health because as long as he knows, as long as he's, He's focused on things. He doesn't want other people to think something that he's not doing. You know what I mean? Maybe that's the particular case. But <clears throat> Tyson Fury, um, I haven't meet, seen too much of him, honestly, to really give an account. You know, uh, we really haven't seen him in training camp. I haven't seen anything because we haven't seen anything. They don't have the, 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 necessi the, the necessary promotions. They don't have that. They don't have... Showtime all access, you know, or anything special on ESPN or none of that shit. And that bothers me. I'm like, you guys don't. But anyway, anyway, we know that's some bullshit. We know that's for whatever reason they did it. They done it. But we haven't seen much of him, in other words. Right. For those obvious reasons. So I don't know how he's doing it. So I guess. This is his way to inform everyone that he's doing okay, that he's working hard, that he will be prepared at 100% when he takes on Deontay Wilder on uh, February 22nd. You guys tell me what you think about Tyson Fury's comments, statements, interviews. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.